Yeah, uh, saw the doctor yesterday. Uh, it was pretty good, pretty brief, but um, yeah, got cleared and uh, just uh, listening to what the guys here say and um, whether it's doing some extra stuff after practice or whatnot, but yeah, just trying to get ready for uh, game one. The original diagnosis was probably, you know, somewhere 10 or 15 games into the season. How much of a relief is this that you're able to get ahead of the timeline? Yeah, hundred percent. Um, you know, I think I said yesterday, uh, when I first got surgery, you know, I didn't think I was going to be in camp at all. Uh, so to be able to do all the skating and stuff in camp and, you know, do some of the practices was, was definitely good for me. Um, you know, I felt like if I, if I didn't do that, it probably would have been a little tougher to get back, but, um, you know, my conditioning's there and, um, you know, I think, like I said yesterday, just try to get the timing and, and all that stuff down and, you know, then I'll, then I'll be ready. John Tortorella said that he was impressed with how ready you were for camp despite the fact that you're rehabbing you know from a pretty serious surgery how were you able in the summer to, to get yourself ready for this camp while also making sure you didn't push yourself too hard and re-injure while you're doing rehab 100 percent. i think you know um you know it's kind of a, a weird summer with the the switching of all the staff here and things like that but uh you know i was in good hands with the rehab and you know dan and derek have been great uh, you know once i got the the okay that I can start lifting and all that stuff. They've been they've been really good with me, you know, trying to get my weight back up and you know doing the right things. So uh, I give a lot of credit to them. So um, you know, I think um, you know coming into camp, uh, I was a little nervous for the skate test and all that stuff. But uh, you know, once you're out there with the guys, it, it kind of helps. So uh, you know, it wasn't too bad at all for me. Even before you were cleared, you did have a little bit of contact going in. Um, you know, it's kind of just hard to dial it down that much. Um, but is, is that a, is that something that gets you over a little bit of a mental hurdle? Hundred percent. I think even uh, you know when I talked to, to Eichel before I got the surgery, he said uh, kind of a, a similar thing. You know, he's a little nervous before he took the his first first couple hits, but he said after that, it, you know, the the mental part of it, he didn't really even think about it. So, and that's kind of, that's kind of how I feel now. You know, I'm not really even thinking about it. I'm just going out there and playing. So, um, you know, I feel like I play my best when I do that. And um, you know, obviously, some some bad hits are going to come along the way, but uh, you know, I feel like my body's in a good spot to to handle all that. Yeah, I mean, um, I think it kind of depends on the drills and stuff we're doing out there. Um, you know, I think uh, a couple times guys were like, can I hit you? Can I hit you? And I was just like, yeah, go for it. I don't, I don't really care. But, um, you know, I think just doing battles and stuff the, the first couple of days of camp definitely helped. Uh, just that, that, that stick uh, strength and, and all that kind of stuff definitely helps. But, um, you know, today felt good. I got bumped a few times. Browner caught me a couple of times. But uh, so no issues and, you know, feeling good. Good job. Getting the news from the doc yesterday, do you think you'll be able to play now on uh, Thursday? Uh, I'm hoping for it. Um, you know, I don't want to say I can't really confirm anything now. Obviously, I got to talk to the guys here, and you know, we got a, a few more days before the first game. But um, you know, I'm, I'm really hoping to. Joel, obviously, throughout camp, the, most of the talk surrounding you has been the surgery, your recovery, when you're going to be able to play. Now that it looks like you know, if you're not going to be ready for game one, you're going to be back pretty soon. What are you looking to improve on this year in your game, and what, what I guess steps are you looking to take? Yeah, for sure. I, I think for me, it's always kind of just been consistency. I feel like uh, you know I'll have you know good stretches, and then I'll kind of go quiet for a while. I think even even more this year with you know um, you know the the difference in the lineup between this or last year and this year. I think just just trying to be a guy that you know can be relied on you know night in and night out. So I think uh, just keep pushing that way. Obviously, there's there's a ton of things I'd like to work on in my game, but. Um, Overall, I think that's probably the biggest one. You took a couple of serious hits last year. When you went in, or were getting ready to go into surgery, did they tell you that it was not connected at all to what took place? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I don't think it was connected. It's, it's really hard to say, honestly, because I hurt myself in the gym. Um, you know, I think if it was a hockey-related hit, it might have been something. But it's honestly, it's, it's really hard for me to say. The doctors uh, didn't think it was anything because of my shoulder or anything like that. So, um, you know, it's really hard to say. As you were focused on recovering from your surgery, how much were you able to actually work on your game over the summer um, when you were also just trying to get healthy again? Yeah, I mean, not, not as much as I probably would have liked. I, um, you know, I think probably the whole whole month of July was was pretty quiet for me. You know, just you know, doing you know rehab stuff, not really having a stick in my hand at all. So, um, you know, I think August was good to be able to get on the ice and, and do things like that, but. Um, you know, I think for me, just uh, right now, I, I've said it before, but just get that timing and all that stuff down. Um, you know, I feel like when I'm not 
thinking too much is probably when I play my best. So hopefully just, you know, go in with an open mind and just go out there and play. I know when uh, when we first met you at development camp, you said Chase Utley was your favorite player. You're a big Phillies fan. Are you excited to watch the games? And what's it been like getting to know the guys on the other sports teams in the city? Yeah, it's been great. I mean, um, you know, I've been a Phillies fan my whole life. My dad grew up in Philly. Uh, he was at the World Series in 08. So um, it's kind of come full circle here, seeing them, seeing them win when I was young. And, you know, hopefully they have a great playoffs here. I think, you know, most of the guys are going to be watching tonight. And, uh, you know, they got a really great roster. Really excited for them.